Hello everyone and welcome. Hi guys. So today's fruit of the spirit that we're going to be talking about is patience. And I don't know about you guys, but patience is not something that I am very good with. And you guys may not be very good with patience either because when you want something, you want it now. You don't want to have to wait for it. So a way that we can look at patience through God's eyes is waiting for something to come to us and not expecting it right away. So I'm going to read this verse that I think is really important about patience. And this verse is 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. As some understand slowness, instead he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And so this might be hard for you to understand. What do these big words mean? What is repentance? So patience with God is knowing that we're going to make mistakes and knowing that we're not perfect. But God has patience with us, and he knows that one day we'll follow him. And so what does it mean that God has patience with us? Does it mean that God's like, well, you don't have to be good right now. You don't have to obey me right now. That's not what it means. Patience is understanding that through time, being a Christian, or whatever other faith that somebody may be, they will be, learn to trust in God. And so God having this patience with us knows that he knows that we're going to make mistakes and we're going to not always do the right thing. But because he sent his son to die for our sins, he had patience for us. He said, I understand that you're going to make mistakes, but I know that my path for you shows that one day you will come to the realization that I'm all powerful, that I will be the person that you can trust. I will be the one who you will give all your problems to. And he has patience because he understands that this is a big thing for us to understand. So sometimes when I have problems, I want them to be solved right away. Like Jenna and I have college finals this week and I really just want them to be over with. And I pray and I say, please God, take these finals away. Let me pass them. And I want it to be done right now, but I know that that can't happen. But if I pray, and I know God will give me patience to work through my problems and to give it to him and know that I can't always expect everything right away. And so for you guys, this might look something like maybe right now during quarantine, you really want to go see your friends. But because everything is going on, you can't. And you might be angry with God and you might say, why is this happening to me? But God wants you to have patience. And through Christ, we have patience within us. We know that not things do not happen in our time. Things do not happen on our clock. It doesn't happen when we want it. It happens in his plan for us. So we have to be patient. Yes, and one thing to be super thankful for is that although we can grow our patience in Christ, um, sometimes our patience does wear a little thin, but God's patience for us is never ending, and he always will wait for us, so that's great, and we're going to pray now. Dear Lord, we just thank you um, for your patience for us, um, that you wait and that you want to hear our problems and help us to solve them and wait for them to resolve, Lord. We just pray that you would continue to help us grow in patience, especially in this time where it's um, very hard to continue to be patient, Lord. Um, and we pray for safety for all of our kids in church and their families, Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. See you guys next week. Bye.